Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and of course, I'm here with Benny Ark and Ewa Oluwa Oritu. How are you guys doing? Hi, ladies of Tea Time. How are you doing? Hi, Hi, gentlemen of Tea Time. How are you doing? I'm great. Okay. All right. So um, by now, I know you should know that Davido and Joel, they are like this, like one <laughs> and one together. So he shared a 30 BG neck piece on his Instagram page with um, Ifai's face, Ifai face on it and captioned it, I did not come to play. The necklace seems to cost around 150 million, according to bloggers. Rumor, however, has it that he moved, um, he may have removed Imade's face to replace it with Ifai's face. Now, the question now is, is he removing the face and replacing it with Ifani's face because Ifani is a boy and Imadi is a girl? Or is this an entirely new piece? Or, I mean, or is this because Ifani is um, the child of his love? I don't know about Benny, you are the guy. What do you think? Um, let's, let's go with a traditional setting where the country, Africa, will come from. There's always this adoration and worship of the male child. Um, there's always the emphasis of the male child being placed over the girl child. Mm -hmm. And so you see in marriages where women just ask female children and there's a clamor for how to get a male child because you feel by that way, you you stamp your, your feet in that family, you've come to stay mm -hmm. because you have a male child. So there is an, a, a this, child that will carry the name yeah, like they say. There's adoration and worship of the male child over the girl child. And I don't, David, David, David has always been someone who's into juries a lot, we can tell. Um, I want to say partly excitement. Um, he did it for him day, okay, now there's, there's the boy on the way. Maybe he just felt, you know, let me, let me change, let me change the, 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 the face I have to, to the new, to the boy. I, I don't know for what reason he did what he did. But again, I think, if we, like I said, we're to go by the traditional setting we have, He's, he's excited he has a male child right now, and so he's going to flaunt him, he's going to show it the whole world, you know, like, okay, this is my boy child, and he's here for me. Maybe maybe as time goes on, he's going to wear another medallion with Imadi's face still. Mm -hmm. You know, like for me, um, I have a tattoo of my boy on my arm, and the reason why I've not put that on my girl because I don't trust tattoos here. Okay. Well, I got a tattoo when I was out. Um, somebody asked me on the time, like, okay, you have two kids, how come your daughter's name is not on your sleeve? I'm like, she will be on my sleeve. All right. So why David o did what he did is it's personal to him, and the boy is over the moon mm. about his boy child. I mean, I totally agree with everything he said. You don't think it has anything to do with who has the child? Not necessarily, mm. because if we were to go by that, I don't know what kind of relationship he has with um, Imade's mom right now. He's, you know, but again, if you decide to look at it from that angle, yes, I mean he he's definitely in love with Chioma. Mm -hmm. and he has bragged about her as the love of his life, brought on stage and international tours, and so you can't deny the fact that Davido is really, really madly, deeply in love with Chioma. So that could be another reason again. That could be another angle. You know what? Hey, you're the love of my life. You're the one in my life right now. So to let you know that, you know, I'm serious about this relationship, this thing we have, I'm going to put our son's face in my medallion. So uh, it could be. It could I know be, if, I, if I say, reasons to yeah, why. if I say yeah. Choma is the video's wife now, you'll be like, I mean, they're not married. They're not married so, yet. Yeah, today. but I feel like if I were Choma yeah, and I have a child for David Do, like I'm in Choma's position right now, and I have a child for David Do, and he has the the um, face of a child from his baby mama yeah. on his pendant. I probably wouldn't be comfortable with it. And that I feel like angle again. it's possible. It's better you just don't have any at all, or have my son on your on your pendant. It's, I mean, it's something I can do. So I wouldn't say for sure that we know that this is coming from Chioma or this decision made by David Dior because this is a boy, but of course, it's... That's, that's a probability also. Yeah. Chioma mm -hmm. was like, okay, why are you still wearing Imade's medallion? I mean, when you know you have a song, that's also a probability, but it's still best known to David Dior why he did what he did, and I think he's entitled to do... It's, it's his to prerogative do. to do whatever what he wants to do. It's his money, it's his, it's his diamond necklace, it's his medallion, it's his son, it's his daughter, and we all know for, for a very long time David Dior, has worshipped and adored Imade. You mm -hmm. can't even yeah, deny he has. that. Yeah, he actually has. You know, there's, there's this thing I see whenever I, I see pictures and videos. I think she also has a 30BG yes. neck piece. You know, and so um, it's David Doe. He's the money man. And so he, he can just Spend spring any wants. surprise on us anytime. And he's done that right now. And we can't question him for that. Mm -hmm. I actually mm -hmm. saw a comment on 
his post, the person was saying something about, I thought the wristwatch dented your account. Clearly, the wristwatch, I think it's the wristwatch he got for his crew members. Yeah. That was pretty expensive too. So they felt that they wouldn't be seeing anything new from him mm. in and a long time. People right should understand, if you understand the value of jewelry, their investments. Yeah, they mm. are. And so David is a wise man. Mm -hmm. All right. So any, any any time, I'm just saying, any time he feels like he's broken and needs money, he can always and trade so in this jewelries for good money. Mm -hmm. And so there's an investment. And so uh, and they're not going to depreciate. No, they don't. They never depreciate. They always appreciate. Mm -hmm. Even more than properties, you know. And you don't necessarily get to pay anything extra on them. And so the money you use to buy them today, tomorrow it might double, it might triple. Mm -hmm. And so um, he's making a wise investment as a young man. And I'm not necessarily into jewelry. It's never been. So when I see people splodge on jewelry, I'm like, wow. You know, I want to splodge on shoes, like, you know, shoes. And well, it. shoe depreciates, right? <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, they do. All right. I why, think why are you we'll so quiet on. about this? <laughs> Let's go on a quick break. She's a David Dose fan. I, I mean. don't know what's going on, but we're going on a quick break. <laughs> and when we come back, we have more to discuss. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> sleeping early, sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Tea Time with Plus TV Africa. Up next for conversation is the story on Yomi Fabi, who has come out to tell us why he's so upset with Tony Abraham. So now his story is um, sounding very similar to that of um, Liz and Jory. And, but there's a twist, though. I mean, Yomi Fabi has been a movie producer for a very long time. You know, he's been doing this, acting and producing. And he says there was a particular movie he was producing, and... Um, Tony Abraham may be expected to be the lead actor in that movie, but he wanted a fresh face. He wanted to give somebody else an opportunity, which he did. And that probably did not sit well with Tony Abraham. And then when he was promoting the movie, a handle, an anonymous handle, someone that's supposed to be a fan, came out to reveal some things about him. In the comment section of our popular Nigerian Instagram blog, that's Insta blog, and that became a topic for conversation. And he is also insinuating that that person, or Tony Abraham, is behind that account, whether it's related to the person or friends to the person, whatever it is, but he's insinuating that she knew who this person was. So, I don't know. Mm. It gets twisted every time. Benny. Um, this is one side of the story, right? And this mm -hmm. is Fabi's side of the story. And mm -hmm. I'm hoping, um, what's her name now? Tony is going to come out and say something. She won't respond. You know, but for the reason he gave, it's... It's cogent because I get really, I get really um, put off every time there's a movie. You see the same cast, the same faces. It's different script but same cast. Mm -hmm. Now he said Tony wanted to be part of that movie, and he felt, you know what? No, that he needed a new face to showcase a new face, which is okay. He's the producer, as the director, as his money, as his movie. Mm -hmm. All right, so that shouldn't get you upset. And then again, he wanted to afford a new face to be seen for their talent, mm. which I, I was thinking someone in the, in, in the like of Tony would have appreciated that, you know, let somebody else be seen. Mm. Um, the spotlight shouldn't always be on you. All right? And that goes to the entire Nollywood as it is. You know, there's too much of recycling of the same faces. Many people tell that many producers would not want to risk their money, putting their money out there and have casts that are not known. Mm. But I'm sorry, you fail to forget that these people who are known now, they, they used to be unknown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. An opportunity, a platform was given to them. And so I don't blame Fabi for, for what he did, for saying I want a new face to feature in this movie. Now, we cannot accept him for sure if it was Tony that put up somebody behind the account mm. that said something very um, antagonistic against him, malicious against him, that was munched by Instablog. And now, you were saying something that was another issue, like that somebody said Tony said something. And, did something. Mm -hmm. and so that's it. So 
Um, it seems to be like a pattern of behavior. Mm -hmm. So is it that when you get so mad, upset about something, you go out all the way to want to release your venom and become malicious and antagonistic against people, then Tonya has something to check in herself. She needs to if pretty much... That's yes. if it's pretty much That is if it's, if it's true. Yeah. You know, she pretty much needs to check herself. But you when can't one, be, two, three people keep saying the same thing about you, then I say maybe... That. Maybe that maybe is it. I always say that of truth five people it. cannot be wrong about mm -hmm. you. After even the good book says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word is established. Mm. So if two, three people come out and say one thing about Benny... <laughs> that made me remember for Tonya. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. You just, okay. had, you just had to go no. there, though. No. <laughs> you know, so two, three people cannot be wrong about one person. Mm. You know, and so um, I know there's, there's, there's a whole lot of monkey business that goes on in Hollywood. A lot, yeah. A whole lot of monkey business. So a lot of dirty things that happen. We've had stories of producers, directors say, you know what, I, got, I need to give you a role. I got to sleep with you for the female folks. Even a friend that was around here last week said the same thing. I mean, just as simple as a cameo. The movie, the movie, the producer was insisting in, I gotta have sexual knowledge. You're like, what is, what is going on here? And so it lets you understand how much of lobbying happens and, in the industry. Yeah, and how people don't mind, they, go, they will get over you, step on your toes to get your role. You know, we need to come to a place where we, we, appreciate, we appreciate each other's talent and realize that, you know, the platform is large enough for everybody to shine. Mm. I can never be Elsie. Elsie can never be me. There's something peculiar to Elsie and something peculiar to me. And if we could just bring that together, I think the world is going to be a better, yeah, and a better place for everybody to live in. For me, I think it's time Tony comes out to address this she issue. She should say something. I mean, if different people are coming up to spring all these allegations against you and you're just forming the matured one, uh, the quiet <laughs> one is the matured one. It, it does not even work that way. It doesn't way. work every time. You get, you need to, I mean, say something. If you're not the one, defend yourself. You Silence can, sometimes yeah. can mean assent. Mm -hmm. are you, mm -hmm. I mean, that's it. Because every time this happens, you're always the quiet one, not saying anything, and you're making everybody look like they are crazy. But I don't. Right now, I'm thinking that. I mean, this is this real. Is approach, like we agreed, yeah, was a bit too much. Approach was too much, but she she made a point. She wanted to say something, and a lot of people came to say that. That means something is up somewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if all these things keep coming up, I think she should just come out and address this issue. Mm. And if it's what she does, she needs to change. Mm. Change is important, even though we're in the okay. We we are in the change. Era. This is next level. Okay. Uh, moving on, let's go on a very quick break. But when we come back, we still have more to discuss. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like woo. <laughs> Welcome back. Comedian Basket Mouth Break Silence over EU dropping him as part of um, the team promoting um what will I call it now? Um um, fighting against sexual harassment and all that. So, domestic violence uh, yeah. against women. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know. I, I felt some type of way about his posts. I can't put them in words right now, but I just know I felt some type of way. And I feel like when this happened, when he put out this statement years ago, he did not come out to apologize. Mm. A lot of people said so many things, told him it was wrong, told him, I mean, you're a public figure. As at that time, back then, was still very big, right? And they, they, they shared their concern and how they felt and how insensitive it was. But I, 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 I can't remember clearly if he was silent or if he defended it, but I know he did not apologize. Mm. So why are you apologizing now that... Um, you're dropped from a platform like EU. Like, I, 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 I think I like what is going on now because it, it goes to let them know that what they actually do 
or what is say people can hold them accountable for it because you cannot ignore people for that long and just because the internet never forgets like they put it and they dug up this thing now you feel like you have to come and tell us that you have two children you have a wife you have women in your life of course we know you have women in your life some of these people who are rape apologists mm. which is what i would like to call rape them some yeah mm. what i would like to call them sometimes they have people around them and most times when they make these excuses the only thing that can get them to shut up is where you to make them know that this can also happen to your child. And the ones that have a little bit of conscience will kind of pull back and like, okay, so if this happens to my child, this is how we react. But I mean, I hope that he understands the gravity of what he said. Mm. You know, um, when, when that joke came out some years ago, I was actually one of those who took to Twitter to copy, to copy basketball and say something to him. I'm like, hey, you're going to have daughters. Mm -hmm. And I hope somebody also does the same thing to your daughter and they make you feel this culture of what it is to actually trivialize um, rape victims, you know, those who have been raped. Um, he did come out, he actually did come out to turn an apology then, but he was pretty diplomatic about it, like he was still trying to start, take a stance that mm -hmm. people didn't understand it is comedy, mm -hmm. you know. He was pretty diplomatic, but not an outright, unreserved apology like he's doing now. Mm -hmm. You know, he came out celebrating the women in his life, the most important people in his life are women. And it's quite unfortunate that Swan of a reputation, a repute like basket man, he's one of the biggest comedians we have mm -hmm. um, in West Africa, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. You know, that you use your platform, your monologues and your and your dialogues to to further strengthen what we consider advice against women. You know, and that's to let you know that the, the, the international community you're watching, you're not just within the small village called Nigeria, spotlights on you. And it's quite sad that EU had to drop him as one of the ambassadors because you can't you can't speak against what it is you're for. Mm -hmm. If your work is for this thing, then we can't we can't have you work for us to speak against it. You know, it's pretty sad he's he's been dropped. The news out this morning that he was dropped as the ambassador. Um, and that is to tell every other person that has a platform. You have oh, a voice. sorry to put this in. In that post, he also found a way to make us know that they are not even going to pay him for it. Mm. Yeah. Which is still, everybody was which is saying still he lost money. Because and it's trying to, I didn't lose anything. I'm, I'm still sorry. fine. For me, and I'm going to look at it from the um, social media angle. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good that that's why this um, social media bill that is about to be passed, is, we just don't want it because yeah. social media has help us, help people, help people accountable for their actions. actions. If not for um, social media, it would have this thing would have passed and it would go and speak and that would be the I end still of come it. Back and I still give come back. Jokes. And, you know, and do, do you understand? If not, that people had to like drag him and tag EU and like, no, this is what he has said and brought back the old post and no, it would not be here right now. It mm -hmm. would have it would have still be on that list and would go and speak against what quote and unquote is for. Because mm -hmm. if you made a joke about it and people are telling you that this is wrong and you're still taking a stance that well, it was a joke. Maybe, maybe not, but I'm just trying to make people laugh. There are some yeah. things you don't joke about. You don't joke when people are being serious and you're just thinking that that's me. I'm just cracking jokes and mm -hmm. you guys should laugh. You just can't be cracking joke when you say, you know, that the woman doesn't have any say because you feel you've, you've done some certain gestures mm -hmm. for the woman and she's with you that night at home and then she tells you she doesn't want to have sex with you, that she doesn't have a right to Unless say no rape. over her body. Mm -hmm. You know, that joke was pretty expensive mm -hmm. because I, I heard the joke, I saw the video, I'm like, dude, you don't say such, you know? And so other people took, there was even an artist, I'm not going to mention his name right now, that also told that same line to say, you know what, I took you out to the club, I spent money on you on drinks, and then we go back home, and you tell me you don't want to lay with me, that are you mad, fam? Are you mad, fam? Mm -hmm. Immediately I called him, I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, so if you because you spent a certain amount of money on a girl, she doesn't have a right to say no, but well, it's her buddy. Mm -hmm. All right, and no is no. If she says no, it is no. There's no, there's no, there's no in between. Yeah. So Baskerman was definitely wrong about that, that joke he made. And he coming out to say what he's saying. What that he's saying all, I don't he's think he's. I don't paid. think his apology is no, genuine. I mean, he's um, coming out to let genuine, us know he's just, not losing money. That's it. Basically, this is, this and it's it. not even genuine because if he was, you would have apologized then. Are you just now. realizing that rape? And is this apology bad could have been better if he's really sorry about it. He's not. See, I feel bad about Skmat. Whoever, whoever his PR team are, they didn't do justice with this. Coming out to tell the world that you're not being paid he's for probably, he's, he's mm. Everybody want to be a, a, an EU, UN ambassador. And it activism is, is not deal. about money. It's not even about you being paid. Everywhere you're, you're, you're going to, to go to speak some, against you know, this thing, I'm sure they are going to foot your bills. There's something called per diem. They're, they're going to take they are care of you. Even your bill, what so you're saying is that I'm not in support of domestic violence and I'm speaking for it. Nobody needs to pay you. I'm sorry, anybody 
on the EU UN platform, it's in, you're on one of the biggest platform anybody want to be on in the world. As a representative of the EU and UN, that is big deal. That's a big so voice. That is you trying to make undermine the platform. Slight people still and undermine that platform. That after all, that, and people think I lost money. No, they were mm. not going to pay me. It is not about that, bro. That is not what it's about. The fact that you made a mistake, genuinely apologize and move on. Be like I am Nana. You know, it's not, <laughs> it's not gonna cost you anything. Mm. People respect you, and I'm one of those who respect basketball. Yeah, 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 I, I feel it's intelligent. I he's, one of the, yeah. he's one of the few intelligent comedians we have in Nigeria. True. Nobody can take that away from me. But mm. bro, if you've been called out on a mistake you did, it's human to make mistake, accept it, turn down no reserve apology, and be easy about it. Mm. And there's always room to learn and unlearn. You might not understand it now. I'm sorry, but this is where I bring in what I said on that red talk table. He said, at the time, I did not understand the sensitivity. The but sensitivity now, gravity I do. It's, it's that simple. Nobody saying you will know everything. I myself can come out tomorrow and say something that would make me f make people feel uncomfortable. Mm. But it is important for me to take a step back, listen to them, understand their own pain, and understand where they're coming from and apologize. You cannot tell um, a person how to react to what you say. No, you can't. Right? Mm -hmm. And this one, everybody's telling you what you did is totally wrong. So I don't know what he's trying the to do. The EU is telling you what you did is wrong. It means why they dropped you off. Yeah, and, so and I think should, everybody, should everybody has a lesson to pick from this. Be careful what you put out on mm -hmm. your social media because you don't know who is watching and you don't know what, what's going to happen in future and that word will be used against you. Yeah. All right, so I think this is how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, La Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time in London on, on Ben Television and, of course, on Auto TV as well. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ewa Lua Ritu and Benny Ak, and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and see you later.